Hello everyone today I'm discussing Russia's Black Sea flagship was damaged by a drone strike in Crimea. The Admiral Makarov, Russia's flagship cruiser on the Black Sea, was damaged and probably incapacitated during an audacious Ukrainian drone assault on the Crimean port of Sevastopol over the weekend, according to an analysis of video evidence. According to open-source investigators, the frigate was one of three Russian vessels that were attacked on Saturday. At 4.20 a.m., a swarm of drones, some flying in the air and others skimming fast over the water, attacked the Russian fleet. The footage captured by one of the maritime drones shows the autonomous vehicle dodging between opposing vessels. It was unclear to Ukrainian authorities whether the Admiral Makarov was severely damaged or had escaped with little damage. According to unconfirmed claims, the ship's hull and radar systems were compromised. Rifleman's Bay, in the southern region of Sevastopol, was the site of thunderous explosions captured on social media. A school for the Russian Navy is situated nearby. According to the Defense Ministry in Moscow, Ukraine used nine air and seven water drones, of which several were intercepted, including by a Russian helicopter. No mention of Admiral Makarov was made. The government acknowledged there was minimal damage to the Ivan Golubets minesweeper. Moscow said on Sunday that the drones had been retrieved and were undergoing analysis. The government said that they were outfitted with navigation units produced in Canada. It accused the United Kingdom for the assault and said that a Royal Navy unit based in the southern Ukrainian port of Ochakiv directed the activities. The British government has rejected this. He said that the Admiral Makarov and at least two additional ships carrying caliber cruise missiles were damaged, along with a cargo vessel. Perhaps the Shami or Lightning. He added, there is a strong likelihood that numerous ships are not just damaged but even sunk. Volunteer organization GEO confirmed reported on Sunday that a Admiral Grigorovich-class frigate was the target of the strike. After analyzing still images, the report stated, only the Admiral Makarov is comparable to this class for the Black Sea Fleet. The footage ends as a drone approaches the Russian warship, with the unmanned craft, likely, exploding upon collision. Aides to Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky have implied that the nation was responsible for the Saturday attack. This is the second time that Kiev seems to have pierced a prominent Russian Navy warship in a well-organized operation that surprised the Kremlin. It chronicles the April sinking of the battleship Moskva, a Soviet-built gun platform with 510 crew members. Several perished. It was the first time Russia had lost a flagship since the Russo-Japanese War of 1905, and the Moskva was the biggest warship destroyed in combat since 1945. The whole Black Sea fleet of Russia suddenly seems exposed to distant assault. Former Ukrainian defense minister Andriy Zagorotnyuk called Saturday's attack as an intriguing development. Those responsible deployed a collective assault. It is not comparable to a single rocket striking a target. It is organized. Numerous drones in the air and on the water overwhelm the Russian defense system. Zagorotnyuk was impressed by the fact that the drones had a quite robust live video link. Even though they were operating at more than 100 miles from the Ukrainian coastline, they were able to videotape the onslaught. It's astonishing that this can be accomplished at this distance, he said. He emphasized that the Iranian kamikaze drones that hit Kiev two weeks ago were less sophisticated and flew blind. Ukraine has shown its ability to hit Crimea, which Russia invaded in 2014, from a distance. It is believed to have impacted the bridge linking the peninsula to Russia, the Saki airfield, and, two months ago, the naval command complex in Sevastopol. Zelensky has threatened to free the whole of occupied southern and eastern Ukraine, including Crimea. The Kremlin said that it will withdraw from a UN-brokered grain pact that permits civilian ships to transfer grain and fertilizer from Black Sea ports. Zelensky said that Moscow was searching for an excuse to stop the endeavor. Since September, it has been deliberately worsening the food situation, he stated in a televised address. He said that Russia's actions have effectively halted the passage of 176 boats in the agreed-upon grain corridor, with some waiting for more than three weeks. He said that they were unable to convey their shipment to Algeria, Egypt, Yemen, Bangladesh, and Vietnam. Zelensky said, a robust international reaction is required at this time.
both at the United Nations level and other levels. Specifically on the level of the G20. Ukraine has been and will continue to be a global food security guarantee. Russian tyranny and extortion must be defeated. Humanity must prevail. Ukraine's foreign minister, Dmitro Kuliba, said that Moscow, decided long ago to begin its hunger games and is now attempting to explain it. By halting its participation in the grain agreement on the bogus pretense of explosions 220 kilometers distant from the grain route. Russia blocks 2 million tons of grain, enough to feed nearly 7 million people. The UN Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, expressed, grave worry, at the agreement's termination. A spokeswoman for the United Nations said on Sunday that he postponed his trip to Algiers for the Arab League summit by one day in order to concentrate on the matter. Guterres engaged in intensive negotiations with the EU's top diplomat, Josep Borrell, to retrieve the deal. Thank you for watching.